Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Pulsar 2849, which is a game all about trying to claim pulsars and bring out all these technologies and develop energy transmission megastructure arrays, which are fantastically named things. Anyway, as always, turn on Klingon subtitles, mistakes that I make, and I fear that there may be a few more than usual here. This is a, uh, there's a lot going on in this game. Uh, turn on Klingon subtitles to be informed of them. And as always, when one's available, there is a gaming rules video with the official rules for this that will be absolutely correct. Anyway, let's go. So I'm playing a two player game today against Little Glass Marty and we are starting on the outside of space and trying to explore what we can. The first thing that happens in a round is the dice phase. We roll the dice. There are seven in a two or three player game and then we will set the median. This is an important thing in Pulsar. So we look at the median dice. So when you've got seven dice, you count to the fourth dice. One, two, three, four. The median would go there. You then cover the dice space with your hand. And if there are more dice on the left, you move the marker left. If there are more dice on the right, you move the marker right. This is going to affect what will happen to you when you take these dice. Also, this game is so massive on the table, there is going to be a lot of me showing you the non-covered up portion of the table, I think. Anyway, let's go. So we choose dice now. In a two-player game, we each have two markers on here, and we will choose the dice in this order. Now, this is a dice drafting game. As you can imagine, we are going to be drafting these dice. They relate to the actions that you get to do. The, not, not necessarily, but the higher numbers tend to be better. For movement, for example, you can move more, although you need to move exact numbers, so you might want a very specific thing. When you take a dice, though, you need to move your markers on these things. So, for example, I'm going to take this two, because I want, I'm going to move with it, I think. I'm going to take this two dice and put it in front of me, because I am the first player. And since I took one that was below the median, it's one space below the median, so I get to move one of my markers one space to the left on these tracks. Now this track relates to the turn order, and the order that you're in on this track at the end of the round will determine next round's turn order. This is a track for engineering cubes, which we'll also get at the end of the round. The person who is in first place on this track will get two engineering cubes, second place gets one, and it could be the same person, and third place gets a point. I'm going to move up on this track, and it can be either of your markers that you move. I'm going to move that one. Okay, I think Marty is also going to draft a two while they're available. And he is going to try and go for turn order, I think. He wants to try and make sure that he's first. And for my next one, I think I'm going to go big. I'm going to grab one of these five. So I need to move back one, two, three, four, five spaces on a track. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be bad, isn't it? So I'm going to move my bottom turn mark, turn marker on here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you go down here, you're going to lose points and you can't move you know, further to the right than there is on the board. And Marty is going to go small again. He is going to draft this one. So one, two, three. And he is going to go forward on the engineering track, I think. I'll get his bottom one. One, two, three. Okay, now we've got the dice. We can take our turns spending them. So you do, every, you do all of your actions in one go now. We drafted them separately because of the two-player turn order thing. So I got these. What reason did I get these? Well, the two I know for sure. This goes in the middle, and I'm spending it to fly my survey ship. It's on here on a starting space. I'm going to go one, two, and I'm ending on this planetary system. Now, this happens whether you pass through it or end your turn on it. You flip it over, and if you passed through it, you would still cl you would claim the uninhabited planet there. Since I have stopped there, I can choose which one to claim. I'm claiming a blue planet. And I couldn't have known what was going to be here, but because I have stopped here and I claimed a blue planet, I can take the exploration bonus, which is an engineering cube, so I'll grab one of those, and a dice modifier token. We start with one and now I've got another one. I can change any dice I get by one. My last dice is a five. I'm going to spend one of my modifier tokens and turn it into a six, and I am going to claim a transmitter. So these are the available three for this round, and you need to spend any of the numbers shown here to get that transmitter. So I could take either of these with a six. Now I was just gonna take this one, but I'm wondering now whether to take this one. This one would activate straight away, and at the end of every single round, I get an engineering cube, which can be used at the end of the game for points. There are three kind of scoring benefits at the end of the game, 
uh, that you need to you know explore nine different systems you need to research six extra technologies and you need to complete and run gate runs so gate runs you can get on your special board here anyway if you've satisfied the main condition on there you get the opportunity to spend engineering cubes to get additional points and they can also be spent on certain technologies like this one all the way up here it's only going to be available in the last round but you can spend two engineering cubes to get nine points and at any time during your turn you can pay four engineering cubes to copy any of the dice left on here as your bonus die you can only have one bonus die per turn and you can get some in different ways we'll see we'll see it all as we go along anyway that's what engineering cubes are for this one I wouldn't be able to complete it until next round. Maybe I wouldn't even be able to complete it next round. But I would get eight points for doing it, an engineering cube every round, and two points every round. I think I'm going to go cheap, though. I'm going to get this one. So you would put a marker on here because you spent the six, but that is everything that is needed for it. So it flips over and comes online. And this is the start of the aforementioned energy transmission megastructure array, which has such an amazing rhythm to it, I think. Anyway, this uh, later on, say I get this, I can engineer it in such a way that I can make a die once I have, you know, completed two and if they have something on. So I could even complete this one and it would make a die of one and I would get a bonus die for that round with value one to do something with. Anyway, that's my two actions. I moved and managed to find an unexplored planet and I got myself a transmitter and turned it online. Marty is going to patent a technology. So the technologies available are based on the round that we're on. So this has been randomly generated as well. There are loads of uh, different tiles for each of the three sections and they're all double-sided, give you loads of different variability. So the options we have for this round, and you have to look at them sideways like me, uh, this lets you complete HQ pro projects. We each have an HQ board, which has different projects on it we can complete. Uh, this would let you complete those projects with a die that's one higher or lower than what you would need normally to complete it. And you need a two to take that technology. Two different people can do that. This is for claiming pulsars. Normally you need to end your turn on a pulsar. This would let you claim it for moving through it if you'd claim this technology. And at certain points during the game, you might not be able to claim a planetary system if it's already covered up with, uh, with icons, because sometimes planets have, uh, have neutral tokens placed on them in a two-player game. If you can't claim one, then this lets you gain two points instead of just getting nothing like you normally would. Marty is going for the first one. He is going to go heavy into his HQ board, I think. So this is going to let him do it for the rest of the game. Any project on his board, he can do for a die of one different. And he can also spend his modifier tokens to change it further. And finally, he's going to spend his one to make a start on that. He is going to complete this project, which gets him a, a dice modifier token of one and another one that lets you change a dice too. Okay, and that's it. We've all taken two actions each. We could have taken a bonus action if we had a way of doing it. We didn't this time. Then we move on to the production phase. So we determine the new order of play. Okay, at the start of the game, we determine the order and then we place the tokens in reverse order. So now we rearrange the ships according to the tokens. So first it's Marty, then it's me because I'm on top, then it's Marty, and then it's me all the way back on that track. So it's basically just flip the turn order. We're still going to take turns drafting the dice, but we are in the opposite order. Then for the engineering track, Marty is going to get two cubes for being first. I'm going to get one for being second. And Marty is on top, so he is going to get the point for being third. Here we go. So Marty earns his first extra point. The first player starts at five, second player starts at six take initiative and engineering penalties. At this point, we would take any penalties if we'd moved this far along, so I'm close to that. I can't move this token any further, really, or risk losing points. Gain points and cubes for online transmitters. I have an online transmitter. I get myself a cube. Score spinning gyrodynes. Don't worry about that yet. We'll get to that. Score points for certain technologies. There are no technologies that score as points in the ones that we've unlocked. Discard remaining transmitters and turn up three new ones. So these are no longer available. And we find three more from the stack. So two more that can be claimed with one dice. If I could get a four or a six, or, oh, you know, one different, I've got a token still, I could get myself another online transmitter and a bonus dice for next round. 
move tokens to unlock second patents on technologies. That is for technologies like this, only one person per round can do them. So if I had claimed one of these, I would now move it down to show that next round someone else can do it. Because you can, you can go to previous rounds technologies. And now we advance the time marker. So now these technologies are going to be available and it affects how much the gyrodynes are going to score if we manage to get any out next round. And this is the counter as well. There are eight rounds in the game. So we go again. We grab all of the dice and roll. And we work out the median. So ones, twos, that was a three, wasn't it, before I knocked it? Threes, fours, and six. Okay then, so the median dice is gonna be the fourth one. One, two, three, four, it's three. Ah. Cover it up. And there are three either side, so we don't move that marker. So taking a three will get you nothing, and you work out the spaces based on the other dice that you take. So Marty's first move is going to be to claim a four, I think. He is going to try and go to a gyrodyne. I don't think he can get one spinning this round, unless he can get a bonus die. He needs to move two on a track. I think he's going to move two down this track here, and risk getting that point, for the moment anyway. Now let's take a quick look at these energy transmitters. This one gets you nothing round to round, but would get me, it would let me claim a, a pulsar, one of these here that you can't normally get to, and it would get me three points. This one would get me three points now and a point every round. Although this, the advantage of this one as well is that it, it links on. I've already got one ready for another bonus dice next time I took an energy transmitter. And that could be all I do this round if I want to. I can, you know, put that one out and then put that one out. Although I couldn't have the bonus dice, both of the bonus dice this round, so I'd be wasting it. I think I'm going to go for this one. Because I don't want the massive penalty of claiming a six dice. So I am going to draft my... So I'm going to draft myself a four. So I need to move two down on a track. So I can move there and I'd still be on top of Marty. See, for, to claim a six, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, it's massive. And next, Marty's going to claim this three, I think, and he's going to he's going to work on his board again. Now it is it does benefit you working on ones next to each other because as soon as he's done these two, he can start working on this one. You can't move up until you've done the ones underneath it. But he is going to be moving in the orange section, and an orange gate run will be good. We'll see that later, because he took the die from the space. No markers move at all. For me, I think I'm going to draft a two, so I get to move forward two on one of the tracks. I think. I'm gonna go one, where was I underneath there? One, two, I think I was underneath there. Yeah, so I'm gonna be first to choose and last. So Marty's actions, he's gonna use his four to move and rule, there are some rules for movement. You can't go back on the same space that you've already moved. You have to move the exact number that's on the dice. He's gonna move one, two, three, four. He moves through this. So we need to put a neutral marker on here to show that nobody can have it. And Marty claims one of these but gets no bonus for it. He would have got a bonus one dice. But this does start counting towards this, uh, this bonus here, who would love you to have explored nine different planetary systems. So he ended his turn on a pulsar space, so he gets to claim this pulsar space now. It doesn't do anything yet until he's built a gyrodyne on it and, uh, and got it spinning. So he needs to claim the gyrodyne somehow and then use an action to build it. So he can't do it this turn without a bonus action. His second action is going to be to go on here on his HQ, and this gets him a gyrodyne of his choice. He's gonna go for a two, which is gonna need a five to activate. And he can put this straight on his pulsar, it just won't do anything until it's completed. Okay, that's Marty's actions, let's look at mine. I am going to be getting this energy transmission megastructure array. So I've used the four, I'll place that on there. It's finished straight away. I get three points for completing it. One, two, three. And I'm going to get myself a bonus die right now of three, which I have no idea what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use this two to move one, two spaces and explore this system. So I'm going to put my marker on the blue planet because I finished on the system. And I get myself a small gyrodyne and another modifier token. Now my bonus, the three, is actually going to go on here. This gives me a gate run. A gate run is basically, I can decide at any point to use this up 
and I will get two points for every green gate space I move through. And look where I am. I am right next to a path of green gate spaces. So if I can get a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that would get me 12 points. A five would get me 10 points and onto another planet. We'll see what we can do next round though. So that is my bonus action. And if I get a pulsar and stuff later on, I will be able to put this down and spend a three to activate it. Okay, we've had our actions. New order of play is changing a little bit. I am going into first as well as last. Engineering cubes, Marty gets two again, so he'll be able to claim a bonus dice if he wants, or he can save them for spending at the end of the game. I get one cube, and I also get the point. Take initiative and engineering penalties, none of us are that far back yet. Gain points and cubes for online transmitters. I get myself another cube, so I can do the dice trick now. And a point. Points for spinning gyrodynes, there aren't any yet. When these are online, they will start generating points per round, as well as a bonus based on the technology track. It would have been great for someone to get one out because they would have got whatever their online gyrodynes would have gotten, plus a bonus based on where the median marker is, which would have been three extra points. There are no technology points available. If somebody had patented that, that would have got you points for every online uh, medium gyrodyne. But nobody did. Discard the remaining transmitters and unlock three new ones. Okay, we are moving into the bees now. Move tokens, we don't need to do that. Advance the time marker. So we now move up here, these are available. No special bonus for gyrodynes next round. And did, did we talk about the technologies? The technologies for last round were whenever you move through orange gates, you can treat the die if it was one more or less. This is points for the number of medium gyrodynes you have put online. And this is four extra points every time you do a gate run. So new round. I will grab the dice and roll them. So what have we got? A lot of threes. So the, the median is going to be quite high, I think, this time. A five and a six. So that is what we've got. The median is the fourth dice. One, two, three, four goes there, cover it up, there is more on the left, so we move the marker left. Let's see, as much as I don't want to move down these tracks, I wanted a five to do that really good run and end on a planetary system. So I need to move down one, two, three on a track. I think it's gonna be one, two, three. Let's move down that one. Now that's kind of annoying for Marty. He wanted a five to turn that gyrodyne on. So he's going to claim one of these fours. He needs to move back one space. He'll just do it on this because it doesn't really matter. He's not going to change his turn order because he can use one of his modifiers to make that a five. His second dice, he wants to complete this project. Unfortunately, the dice are all too high, but he can use one different and he's going to have to use a modifier token on that as well. He gets to move something up. So he could, he could move this one up here and make it so he will get both of the cube bonuses. I'm gonna claim this three, and I think ruin Marty's plan and go above him there. Although it does give him the point rather than the cube. I would be happy with the cube, I think, though, because I'm gonna do some, I think I'm just gonna do movement. I'm gonna move five, and I'm gonna say that I am doing this gate run. So two points for every green gate that I move through. I'm moving five. One, two, three, four, five. So that is one, two, three, four gates. I get eight points for that. I ended on a system, so let's see what we found. I can claim the only blue planet and I get a size two gyrodyne and, an, and another modifier token. Marty's actually gonna change his plans. He's going to use this four to claim this technology. This technology is every time you start a gyrodyne spinning, get four points. And he's gonna use this three with his plus two modifier token. And he is gonna start this gyrodyne spinning. So that's gonna generate him two points every round and he gets four points for activating it. Now he could use these four engineering cubes to buy one of the dice that are available. He is gonna spend them and get the six. He's gonna spend the six to buy this technology. Now this is whenever he does a gate run, he gets four extra points. Okay, that's the actions. Determine the new order of play. Uh, it is the same. Hand out engineering cubes. Marty is first and gets two. I'm second and get one. And he is third and gets the point. There are no penalties. Online transmitters, I get a point and a cube. 
Spinning Gyrodynes, Marty has got one which is worth two points and no extra. There are no technologies earning points at the end of the round that anybody owns anyway. Transmitters all go away. We get three new ones. We move this these down so now someone can claim, well, I can claim <laughs> the others if I want to. And the time marker moves up so Gyrodyne's gonna be worth an extra point next round. So we roll the dice and lower numbers this time. Let's see, ones, twos, fives and a four. So the fourth dice, one, two, three, four. Cover the space up. There's more on this side, so we move the marker one space along. I'm gonna draft a two because I think it's time I claimed a pulsar and got some of these gyrodynes I've collected uh, going. So I'm gonna move one space forward on a track. Let's move forward on this track here. Marty's gonna claim a one to fill in this bottom technology here on his HQ. He has to move three spaces forward on something. He is going to, I think he is gonna go one, two, three, move right up this track. And I'm gonna claim the other two because I'm, I'm gonna put this one out, I think, and activate it. Marty's gonna draft the other one, do some slow movement, I think, but he is gonna move forward three spaces, one, two, three, so he can choose first next time. Okay then, let's go. So what was I doing? I've got twos. I think I was gonna go one, two, and claim this pulsar. And then use one of my modifiers to make this a three, so that I can install this for, for a free action and activate it. So I'm gonna start at least getting something at the end of the round for gyrodynes. I'm actually gonna spend four of my cubes as well to buy one of the leftover fives. With a modifier token, I'm gonna make it a six, and I'm gonna claim this energy transmitter. So I get five points for doing that. Three, four, five, and I get an action opportunity at the end of each round to spend a cube to get three points. Marty, he is spending a one to claim this part of his HQ. And then he's using his other one with a modifier token to move one, two, and find this planet. He gets himself a token on there to explore and two engineering cubes. And I don't think he's gonna have an extra one. Anyway, this is taking some thought. That is the end of the round. So what do we do? We determine the new order of play. It goes back to Marty being first and we go in one at a time. Engineering cubes, Marty's first and second and gets three of them. I am third and get a point. So I'm, I'm actually going in the lead. Penalties, no one's in the spaces. Online transmitters, let's see. I get a cube and a point. And do I wanna spend a cube to get three points? I'm going to. One, two, three. I'm probably not gonna be using those to get bonus dice anymore, but I'm gonna be trying to leverage that as much as I possibly can. Points for spinning gyrodynes, I get one plus one, two points. Marty gets two plus one, so three. Points for technologies, no one's taken any still. Get rid of the remaining transmitters. Three new ones come out. Move things down to unlock the technologies. Marker goes up, so we're gonna get extra points for gyrodynes based on the where the median's gonna be. Okay then, so Marty is gonna be the first player. We roll the dice, Ugh, I can't get them in one hand. Roll the dice and see what we get, high numbers. So threes, a four, two fives, and a six. Ah, Marty still had one, that's why that didn't sound right. It's a one, so no, not so high anymore. One, two, three, four, median goes there, cover it up, same number on either side, so the median marker stays where it is. It also means there are four extra points for each gyrodyne this round. Marty's gonna grab this six. One, two, three, four spaces, he's gonna move this one down. Four, I get to draft, what do I want? Can I even, if I could claim a pulsar, it would be great. I could get one of these that don't give me a particular bonus, but I could use the bonus dice to do something with. I'm gonna claim a five because that's what I will make this online with. So that's gonna move me down two spaces on a track. Let's just do this one, it doesn't matter, does it? Marty's gonna claim this four and not move anywhere. Marty's gonna claim this one and move up one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. One, two, three, four, 
five, six spaces. So he is, at the moment, first two spots. And I'm gonna claim the four because it would get me to a pulsar. But what I should have actually done, if we do some take backs here, where did I move down? I moved down on this track, I think. I think I might be ruining it there. If I'd claimed a three, and let's, let's try and desperately move me back from oblivion on this track to give me a bit of opportunity there. I could have claimed this because this is going to give me a five bonus later on. That's the plan anyway. And then I can still do what I was going to do, but in a cleverer way. Marty's turn. What was he doing? I'm now faced with these dice that I'm really confused by. Oh no, he's been ruined by me claiming that four. He needed that four. Oh no, he can use a three. So he's going to have to change his plans a little bit, I think. Yeah, he was planning on getting a three gyrodyne out, but I don't think he can do that now. He's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to say that's his green run. So how many is that he moved through? One, two, three. So he gets three points, plus the four from the technology for doing it. That's seven points. Claims this pulsar. He's going to get a one gyrodyne with his one dice. And then he is spending four cubes to grab the three dice to activate it. Now, ideally, you want to match numbers. He would get another medium one out because the first person to do it gets seven points. My plan was to use the three to claim this, put it there, and get a five bonus dice, I think. What do I get? I get six points for doing that. No ongoing bonus, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it was to move four and get a pulsar. Was it this one? Two, three, four. I assume it was this one. Okay, so I don't get the boat. I, I put my token on a lifeless planet and put a marker over the three plus player one. So I don't get the bonus because I just moved through. I do get, I have explored it though. Uh, I claim the pulsar and I'm going to put that on, but I'm spending my five to activate it as well. So I also have done two different things a, a one and a two, same as Marty. Okay, I think that's the round. Yeah. Things have gotten very confusing. Production phase, new, new order of play. Marty is the first two players. Cubes, Marty's gonna get three and I get a point. Uh, penalties, nobody's that far down. Online transmitters, I get a point and a cube. I'm spending a point, to, I'm spending a cube to get three more points. Spinning gyrodynes, unfortunately, I've engineered a situation where both players are getting the same amount of points from gyrodynes. So three for the gyrodynes themselves, and then the bonus of four each, so that's 11 points each. And 11 for Marty, so same distance. Yeah, I should be doing different things more. What's going on? No points for technologies. Get rid of the transmitters and get new ones. And the time marker. So we're coming up to the last three rounds now. And let's see, I am miles away. I'm ignoring that to get a load of technologies bonus. That is miles out of reach for me. Anyway, dice for the new round. Oh dear, what's happened there? I say that's a five. We like high numbers, don't we? So ones, twos, a lot of twos. I think it's gonna be a bit of a low median. One, two, three, four. Yep, and there's more dice on that side, so we move it that way. Marty is gonna grab a two. I think he is gonna claim this technology, which gives you points at the end of every round for the number of full rows you've done of your HQ board. I'm gonna claim this one and move forward on to one, two, three spaces. Let's move one, two, three spaces. Because I think I'm gonna try and claim this. And Marty's also gonna claim this to work on his HQ board up to there because he can use a number different, which I've just remembered. I'm also gonna claim this five, which I need to move one, two, three, four, five spaces down. One, two, three, four, five. Let's move this one down. So it'll be right at the bottom there. And that's gonna be for movement. Yes, so Marty, what was he doing? He is claiming a technology. If I remember what I said, he is doing this one, isn't he? And he's also going up his HQ track, which basically gives him a two. It turns his three that he would have spent, although he was allowed to spend a two, and gives him a bonus one dice, which he can do because you can have one bonus dice per round. Okay, I hadn't planned for what he was going to do with these, I'll be honest. Oh, I know what he can do. He's going to absolutely spend the one on his HQ board here, unlock this one, which gives him an engineering cube, and an exploration tile, which we haven't seen. 
before. This is basically, you can you can always, when you get bonuses from these, you can choose to take an exploration tile instead, which give you uh, points usually. So you three points and a modifier. And he's gonna use the two to unlock this technology, which gives him points for all of the medium gyrodynes he's got out. So he's got two, four, five out on the technology board out of the six he needs to satisfy the bonus at the end of the game. Me, <laughs> what was I doing? I was claiming this one, I think, here to get four points. One, two, three, four. And completing this to get me a red dice with a two on it. And then I was gonna move one, two, three, four, five onto here. And what do we have on here? We have a, I put my thing on here. We need a neutral one. And I can have a two or a three gyrodyne or I could choose to have an exploration tile. I think I like the sound of the gyrodyne. Let's get a two gyrodyne because that would be my second and I would get the bonus for doing that first. And my two is going to be spent on going onto this planetary system and getting the bonus from here, hopefully. Okay, there's a lot blocked off on there. Okay, so my token can go on there. And I can have those modifiers, but I think I'm going to go for an exploration tile. That is three points and a modifier. Okay, that is my turn, I think. So, new order of play hasn't changed. Engineering cubes, Marty's still in the lead and gets three. I need to work on that. I really do because I'm, I'm, I'm only generating one per turn and I'm spending it to get points. I kind of want them at the end. Although, one cube for three points is very good. It might be better than spending them on the things at the end. Let's not worry. So I'm basically getting four points, aren't I, rather than worrying about getting cubes. Four points. One, two, three, four. So at the moment I'm on 64, Marty is on 38. But I think he's in line for much more points at the end of the game. Uh, no penalties, we're not that far down. Spinning gyrodynes, we are the same, aren't we? So three plus bonuses of zero, so three points each. Three, one, two, three. Points for technologies, now Marty, he's got a two out. So he gets a point and he's completed two rows of his HQ. So that's three points. So four more for him. One, two, three, four. Get rid of the transmitters, get three new ones. We move into the seventh round of eight. Okay, we roll the dice and we've got some higher numbers, I think. Two, threes, fours, and two sixes. Median, one, two, three, four. It's over here. Cover the fours up, there are more on this side, so we move the medium marker down. Marty is gonna grab one of the sixes. So one, two, three, four, five spaces. Three, four, five spaces, he's gonna move down there. Because he wants to unlock this, and then he wants to do a big run on the purples if he can. I'm gonna draft this four, and move down a space on this track. Because I want this, which is gonna give me two cubes around. Marty's gonna draft a two, so he can get the other thing in his HQ, and then he's gonna buy a dice with cubes, I think, to do a big run. So he moves one, two, three up on a track. He's gonna move one, two, three. Be above me again. I know, he should have picked both first. He would have picked those anyway. Let's say that. What am I doing? Maybe I've done that in other rounds, who knows? And I'm gonna draft this six, maybe two, three, four, five in a Ill-advised thing. Yeah, I can't afford to buy one with cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Move all the way down and ensure that I'm gonna be the last two places on things. I want this. Three points at the end of the game for every dice symbol. Well, that is just nine points, isn't it? I should be able to do another one though. because I'm gonna get this. Anyway, what is the plan? We've drafted. Marty's going first. What did he get these for? He got these to do a six and a two. And he was going to buy a dice as well, I think. So he unlocks those. He gets eight points for unlocking that one. And then he's doing a run on pink. He is going to spend four cubes. Oh no, the six is gone because I've had it. So maybe he's not going to do the run. No, he's going to buy it. So he's going to buy the four, modify it with a token. So he's got five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. That was a purple run. So two points for every purple space he went through. It was only two. So he gets four points plus four for doing the run. It's eight. Uh, yeah, eight. So he's very close now, so <laughs> I'm in trouble. And he gets some stuff from here. So he gets the only space on this system. 
And rather than the two modifiers, he's going to take an exploration tile, which is four points. I've only got six tokens out. I need nine for this bonus. Maybe I'm not getting any of these. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've kind of put myself into a corner as well where... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can, I can use my four to get over there. I can't get a bonus dice, can I? Unless I want to hold off on that. I think we're going to use the six to unlock this technology. So we get the three points for all of the things we've unlocked. We're going to use the four on here to unlock this technology. So I get a three. I turn the four into a three and I gain a two. I'm going to move one, two, three over there to claim that pulsar. And then I'm going to use one of my modifiers on the two to make it a one, two, three. I can't get the bonus, but I'm on here at least for, I've got seven out of nine now. So hopefully I can move to this and this or that one next round. I'm foregoing getting any more of these, which wasn't ideal. And that, I think chasing this is actually a bad idea. Yeah, it's not even worth many points, even if I spend the full amount on it. So what if we spent our four with a modifier token? I'm getting this, which is treat one of those as if you'd done it, and then you can buy the extras if you want to. New order of play, it's the same. Engineering cubes, Marty gets three again because I didn't do what my plan was supposed to be. I do get a point, but he's closing in and I think he's gonna get a load at the end of the game. No penalties, online transmitters, I, if I'm spending the cube, I get three points. No, I think it will have been worth it actually, let's spend it. Three more points, okay. Points for spinning gyrodynes, exactly the same again. Three for our values, and then two extra each, so that's five, seven each. Yeah, I really, Marty really went for research and his HQ board. I really went for these arrays and exploring and both kind of disregarded gyrodynes, which is meant to be what our companies were sent here to do. Uh, where are we? Technologies. Oh, this is where Marty gets points again, isn't it? He's now got three full rows, so he gets six points. He's still only got one of these twos out though. So seven more points for Marty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has caught up with me. Get rid of the transmitters, get three new ones. Although it's, yeah, it's not very attractive for me because I can't complete and get a bonus dice. And we move these down. So these are available. Marty could take this if he wanted. And go to the top. That's what I'm gonna be aiming for. Spend two engineering cubes to get nine points, which is better than the return on any of these. Okay then, so, last round. Have we got seven dice here? Three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Roll them. And low, low, low numbers. So the median's gonna start off there, cover this up, there's more on this side, so we move it along. Marty's gonna draft a three because I think he's gonna get in on that technology. So he needs to move back one, but it really doesn't matter for him. I'm gonna grab a three while it's still there because I need to do the same thing. And move back one of my turn order ones. And Marty's supposed to go first, isn't he? So he would have he would have taken the other one off me. He would have taken the threes, seeing that that's a good option. So I would have to take a two, but I could move up at least. I'll get some cubes. Don't know if it's gonna be enough. And I'll just take another two as well. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, Marty. He's gonna use the three. His plan was to just get these two technologies, but he has only done two runs and it's seven points to do another run. And then more chances to spend stuff. Now I think he's gonna stick with this plan. He's gonna get this technology and this technology. because so that's gonna give him a point for each different gyrodyne. So that's eight points at the moment at the end of the game. And I don't think it's worth spending his cubes. We'll see how many he's got at the end of the game, but I think it's worth hanging on to them and just not scoring the beardy man. For me, I'm spending the two with this to go onto that technology space because I need those points desperately. Although Marty, I feel, has really, really, really won this by a lot. And then what can I use a two on usefully without a modifier? I really don't think anything. So I'm going to go one, two and claim that pulsar and put this unfinished gyrodyne in it. Okay then, yeah, I really should have stuck to the exploring and got some more points at the very end. Uh, order of play is done. Engineering cubes, I get two, Marty gets one, and Marty gets a point now. So he's in the lead. 
no penalties, online transmitters. Oh, we both needed to spend two cubes to get nine points, actually. And so do I want to spend a cube for three points? It's no point hanging on. I can't spend two cubes on any of the people, so I might as well spend a cube to get three points. Two, three. Spinning gyrodynes is the exact same again, isn't it? So three plus four each, so that's 11 points each. There we go, we both get our 100 point tokens. Technologies, Marty is gonna get six, seven again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can now move on to the end game scoring. So we look at technologies. So, oh, this is the point where we'd spend the points. That's why I didn't do it yet. Yeah, we'd so we spend the cubes to get the points. Uh, Marty gets points for the number of different things. He gets eight points. I get points for the number of these I've done, which is three, so that's nine points. And I'm gonna to get to activate another one. I'm gonna to get to activate one of these that I didn't do. So I satisfied the conditions for none of these. Yep, I did none. So I will just choose one that gets me seven points. I can't spend any cubes anyway. I'm really annoyed that I gave up on that one. I should have carried on. I forgot, I forgot halfway through the game that this was gonna be worth points for exploring. Anyway, it's done now. So now we would score the goal tiles. Marty hasn't done that one. He hasn't done three runs either. He has done six technology tiles though, so he gets seven points for that. And he can now spend cubes. He's got, he's one short, which is a shame. He's one short of being, oh no he isn't, four, seven. He's got the exact right amount, all planned. 14 more points, because you, you can only spend these cubes if you satisfy that condition. You can spend these cubes if you spent those cubes. So it's 14 more. Then you get a point for each pulsar you claim that hasn't got a gyrodyne or has one that's under construction. I get a point for that. Point for each gyrodyne still in front of you. Two, a point for every two cubes still in front of you. Points for turn order. Marty's gonna get 11 points. I'm gonna get two. Really messed up here. And finally, the number of cubes you have for stations in the planetary systems. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna get 16 points. Marty has one, two, three, so he gets four points. And that is the end of the game. Marty has 151 to my 137. If I had persevered and got the nine, not only would I have had this, I don't know if I'd have been able to score these. I would have got the three points for that, but also an extra nine points for that. I don't, I don't know, you never know which way this could have gone. Anyway, <laughs> that is Pulsar 2849. I hope this edited down to a reasonable length for you to watch, <laughs> but if you'd like to know what I think, you can click the link on here. Thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.